Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 24 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series and we will discuss about sorting and grouping. At this point of time, our application looks like this, where we are displaying the list of invoices items. And you can see that uh, the list of items, they are not sorted in any particular order. If we see the invoices.json file, which is a data source we are using in our application, it has the list of invoices with product names as pineapple, milk, canned beans, salad, and bread. And uh, that is exactly how we are displaying the items on the screen to the user, uh, basically in the same order. Now in step 24, uh, we will sort the list of the items which we are going to display on the screen. And uh, we will also introduce grouping for the list of the items which we are displaying. And uh, we will group the items based on the shipper name of the products which we have in our JSON model. So in order to sort the list of items which we are displaying on the screen, we make a slight change in the binding which we are doing for the items in our list control. We change the binding syntax to this object notation binding syntax. Here we specify the path for the items on our, in our list. And we also introduce a new sorter property, which will be responsible for sorting the list of items based on the product name. So this is the sorter which we have introduced here. And uh, we just need to give the name of the property based on which we need to sort our list. Once we have made this change in our invoice list.view.xml file, and uh, if when we refresh the application, we can see that the list of invoice items which we are displaying on the screen is now sorted in ascending order. And the sort is based on the name of our product, which is the product name property. Now, if we have to sort our list in a descending order, what we do is that we will introduce this descending property and we will set it to true. Now, if we refresh our application again, we can see that the list is now sorted in the descending order based on the product name. So this is the only piece of code which is needed to sort our invoice list items. Now we will move on to the second part of our step and uh, we will group our list items based on the shipper name property. To do this, we change the sorter path to shipper name instead of product name. And we also set the property group to true for our sorter. What this will do is that it will create groups in our invoice list item and it will create groups based on the shipper name. And it will also sort the list based on the shipper name in ascending order. Now, if I refresh the application, we can see that it has created these groups. One group is Acme. Acme is a shipper name. And uh, this shipper name is applicable for these three invoice items. Then we have another shipper name called FUNINC. And this shipper name is applicable for these two invoice list items. Also, we can see that the shipper name has been sorted in an ascending order. We can cross check that in our invoices.json file. And we can see that the FUNINC shipper name is associated with the product pineapple and bread. And that is what we see here in our UI screen. Similarly, the shipper name Acme is associated with milk, canned beans, and the salad invoice list items. So we only need to introduce this sorter property and we need to provide the path based on which we intend to sort our list. And if we also need to group our list based on the sorter property, we just need to set the group property to true. SAP UI5 will automatically group all the items and it will also display the grouping property value on the screen. So that is it for this step in this video. In the next video, we'll go through step 25 and understand about a remote OData service. If you have any questions or any comments, please put them down in the comment section. Till then, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.